hello friends in this video i will discuss about the how the energy bands originates in the solids and this was given by chronic penny model and usually we have seen that free electron theory of atoms in that it is assumed that electrons move freely inside a solid but it explains this explains the phenomena of uh, specific heat conductivity thermal conductivity etc but it failed to explain why some solids are conducting why some are insulator or some are semiconductors and this can be explained by taking taking the effect of positive nucleus during the movement of electrons in the solid and chronic and penny uh, solve the schrodinger equation for the movement of electrons in the crystals and crystal is a periodic array of atoms so he used the a property of this periodicity and then solve the schrodinger equation to find the band gap so chronic and penny uh, solve the schrodinger wave equation for one dimensional uh, crystal lattice and we can see that there are these are the positive nucleus or positive ions and the electrons have the potential like this and potential is zero at the positive ion side or nucleus and it is maximum in between and this is comparable to the this potential barrier and potential well problem and uh, we will use the schrodinger equations in these different regions and chronic and penny gave uh, solve the schrodinger equation in these regions so chronic and Pen penny suggested that there is a potential well of depth b not uh, with uh, width b and this the uh, this, this uh, distance between two nucleus it is a and the period of this is total will be a plus b and p equal to 0 for the region suppose we take two two regions first and second where it is in first region it is like potential well and here it is potential barrier of height b naught so we can take from a 0 to a as b equal to 0 here it, uh, potentially 0 you can move freely but here it is a barrier minus b to a minus b to 0 or a to b uh, it is b equal to b naught so we can write the Schrodinger equation in these two regions by using delta 2 psi by delta x square plus 2m by h square e minus b equal to g, psi equal to 0 and here b equal to 0 so for first region it will be like this and second region it will be e minus b naught e psi equal to 0 and if we take this 2m e by h bar square as alpha square and this 2m e minus b by h bar square as beta square so that now we have the simplified equations delta 2 psi by delta x square plus alpha square psi equal to 0 will delta 2 psi by delta x square plus beta square psi equal to 0 these two second order differential equations so block solved this problem and he gave a theorem that the solution of this kind of periodic potential will be like this the function psi equal to u e raised for i k x where u is a periodic function u x equal to u x plus a u x plus 2a so it will be periodic and if we substitute this function in equation number 3 and 4 second order differential equation then we get a final relation like you after using the boundary condition we will have m into a b naught b by h bar square sin alpha a divided by a plus cos alpha a equal to cos k a so this in this equation alpha equal to 2 m e by h is because alpha square was 2 m e by h square so alpha is this and other terms we already have discussed what is b naught a b are the periods and if we consider this value like uh, m a b naught b by h bar square as p dash so it will be p dash sin alpha a by alpha a plus cos alpha a equal to cos k a so is this equation 6 it gives the allowed solution to the Schrodinger equation and this equation this type of equation can be solved uh, graphically using the trigonometric condition so this kind of equation sometimes it is known as 
asymptotic equations and the solution is only possible using gra graphical methods and we will use the different trigonometrical conditions to solve this kind of equation so if we plot, so if we plot the uh, left hand side p sin alpha a by alpha a plus cos alpha a on y axis and on x axis there is alpha into a so we will have this kind of graph for y axis and on x axis we have this alpha a pi 2 pi 3 pi or alpha equal to pi by a 2 pi by a like this uh, then we will see the uh, the solution right hand side was cos alpha a and the value of cos is between plus 1 and minus 1 so we will have only certain values uh, allowed uh, which are shown here is in this shaded area and this uh, blank area is forbidden band so this is how we get the allowed band and forbidden band in case of the uh, solids model so only certain values of alpha are allowed and e is restricted and if we see this e key diagram then it is in three particle we have seen it is a simple parabolic curve e square h square k square by 2 m but here we, we see that it breaks at certain points and this discontinuity are at k equal to plus a by 2 and minus a by 2 one curve is there then there is little bit gap and then again from pi by 2 to pi uh, pi by a to 2 pi by a again there will be curve and then it, it is in forbidden region and 2 pi by a to 3 pi uh, 3 pi by a then again it will go like this so it is a discontinuous curve parabolic curve and uh, allowed bands are like this and in between this pi by a and 2 pi by a here it is uh, uh, like this but there will be some jump and this gap is known as the forbidden gap so in e key diagram we if we plot this is allowed band allowed band allowed band and in between there is forbidden band electron cannot be in these regions these are known as the forbidden gap and that's why there are some kind of materials are conducting and some are insulating or some are semiconductor so effective mass of electron we can see from this this ek diagram uh, this this is the valence band uh, energy and k can be written uh, plotted as like this electrons are in conduction band and these these are the valence band and if you plot this uh, e equal to h square k square by uh, 2m and if we take the differentiation of this d by dk will be uh, with in respect to k uh, h square by 2 2k by m or h square k by m and if we take one more time the 2e by dk square h square so this, this value of m uh, star it is known as the effective mass of the electron or in electrons in conduction band and holes in the valence band so m star equal to h bar square delta 2e by delta k square and from this diagram we can find out the m star which is the effective mass of electron or holes when electron is moving inside a crystal then its mass will be not the test mass but it is effective mass which will be which can be little bit uh, different than the rest mass and it is positive because this slope is positive in case of the electrons so we will get uh, this m star as positive for the uh, electrons whereas it is negative in the case of the holes because in the case of holes this slope is decreasing or going in negative direction negative mass electron holes have uh, negative uh, effective mass in balance band. Uh, so it is how uh, the electron uh, behaves inside a solid and the mass becomes the effective mass of electrons so effective mass this this written is here is in in the definitions the electron in a crystal are not completely free but it also interact with the crystal that is and due to this they will experience some kind of forces due to the nucleus and their mass will be uh, different than free electrons and uh, it is uh, this uh, mass altered mass or the change mass is known as effective mass of the electrons 
uh, or uh, holes and it is denoted by m star uh, and its rest mass was m e in free space so m star will be different than m e or this effective mass is different than m e and it varies for different uh, crystals with the uh, direction of the motion of free electrons so this is how in, in actual crystal the mass is different this is known as the effective mass so thanks for watching and please subscribe this channel and if you have any questions then please write in the comment box thank you very much